if you don't take care of your body, where will you live? Quote unknown. I think that's an excellent question. If you don't take care of your body, where would you live? And special dedication to all the fat, lazy, fucking slimy, slimy walrus motherfuckers out there. I'm trying to lose weight. I really want to live. I want to live with my kids. Fat motherfuckers, fat diabetic motherfuckers, fat diabet, fat diabetic motherfuckers that uh, smoke. I'll admit, I'm probably eating, I've probably done a lot of damage to my body, like all the times I've eaten at McDonald's and other fast food places. No doubt. Was it coronary? Heart disease? If I was to die from some shit like that, hardening of the arteries or shit like that, um, and someone at my funeral just mentioned that um, I knew what the fuck I was eating, that it was my choice. It was best for the budget at the time and or possibly the most inconvenient to eat. Yes, I did it. But the moment fat bugs are like, oh man, I can't stop eating these cheeseburgers. I can't stop smoking. I can't stop fucking um, smoking meth. And I know there's an addiction to everything and brain connection and and other shit that, that's involved. But I bring this up because what the fuck are we doing to our bodies if we, if we know that? It's not a miracle. It's not even something to. It's hard. It's not even something that's hard to understand. If you don't take care of your body, where will you live? Unless someone out there has, um, you know, that, that Robocop part two, where the dude transfers his mind, or his brain is transferred to a fucking robot. Unless you have one of those robots there, well, you're fucked. Yeah, man, I don't have time to work out. I'm so busy. I'm so tired. Let me get out of work, you know, with the kids. It's all excuses. You know, as, as far as I know, productive people, people that, people that don't make excuses, They don't have time machines. They don't go back in time and let me do the day over again. They, uh, they go on with it. And it's about making choices, seeing what's important to you. And that's, that's different for everybody else. And uh, I'm guessing that I could have possibly achieved. 15, 16, 17 percent body fat, cut the carbs, increase the cardio, and uh, fuck off drawing, creating, traveling, all this other shit. No doubt I could do that. It's 
a leaner, sexier body. Get some more pooty tang. But no, I've made it my choice that this is uh, what's a priority for me. This is a must. And uh, I'm not going to make the excuse, uh, oh man, I don't have time, you don't understand. That's a fucking bitch move. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only motherfucker that gets um, annoyed by such words. I don't like, um, again, I don't like the, um, I don't like my drawing chair. But when I overlook my budget, I'm thinking, yeah, yes, you do. <laughs> you like it enough that uh, you need to keep on working with it. But if I really, really want to get a new chair, what's the top ramen? Top ramen? Ramen? I can eat those uh, little soups for a month. And I get that chair. Next. I'm good. If you don't take care of your body, where will you live? And even people with drug addictions. Nope, I didn't. Uh, I recommended someone cold turkey. And ask me if you uh, love these kids. It's like, yeah, well, do you love your kids more than this drug? Yes. Simply acknowledging that, I believe you could, for me, it's as simple as that's how you can move forward. There's a lot of things in life that I don't like, that I want to change. And to me, it's pointless to complain. To whine about it, to tell you, poor, poor me. Which comedian was it that uh, <laughs> in America? America, America's not like Africa, where you have a problem with um, starvation, and hunger. But because we eat so fucking much, we're fucking dying. Uh, we are fat fucks. I could lose some weight. I'll say I'm a fat fuck. But I'm not uh, complaining about, oh my god, um, that girl doesn't like me because um, cause I don't have a size um, 28 waist. She, she likes that dude with bigger shoulders, cleaner cut. Oh my god. He's got veneers on his teeth. Oh my god. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him very much. He stole my girl. 
You know, the girl that I just want for her big ass tits. How could he? Work with uh, what you work with what you've got. Don't just uh, look at your resources. Be resourceful, man. Again, um, that joke that uh, we're not like Africa that uh, <laughs> is concerned about or worried about. Uh, starvation but instead uh, worrying about overeating man how, how pathetic does that sound imagine to the starving people of North Korea Africa no but it's 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 luck you know much where you're born and perspective but if you're able to click on this fucking video you're able to click on other videos to get more insight on other things to grow man recently I recently learned this from Jocko you know, to realize how much of a dumb motherfucker you are or how ignorant you are and he said it in more tactful words, like how much there is to learn and to pursue it. Wow, man. Wow, those are some fucking incredible words. Incredible fucking words. Man. Shit, man. How much shit can I learn to draw more stuff? Better my technique, clean up my technique, speed up my technique. And and, and all I have to do is just, <laughs> just search it on YouTube, go, go online. Um, it's Los Angeles, a lot of smart, capable motherfuckers here. Just go ask somebody, man. And, and if you're in the US, man, no, I, I don't have any pity party for you, no, no pity party. Go fucking make it happen, motherfucker. Go. Go do that. Especially if you're a so-called man. Especially. I'm a real man. I do what I want when I want. Okay. How about do something like um, follow your dreams. You know uh, what you want, how you want it, what you'll get it. Yeah, man, I would, but you know, I'm, I'm busy, got kids, family, job. What do you know about that? And I've learned, <laughs> I've learned that my body can um, work in 127 degree weather in outlaw country with no contacts and going out basic instinct my word and the uh, GPS and I, and I still made a buck and, and was profitable and that, that's what I know and that's what I think I know man. there's still so much more to discover man We are some capable motherfuckers. Capable.